This is the part four of the Microcatus series. In this, we have our Microcatus, Microcatus cluster available already. So we created everything we needed. Um, this is practically a workflow test. Um, so I will create an application, which is um, a normal application I would create. It's an ABP application. I uh, have the sample application ready here. I have already deployed it and it works pretty good. Um, so this is a very minimal application. Um, uh, I have made few changes um, to make it work in the way uh, I wanted because uh, I, uh, yeah, so I didn't uh, want to run the migration separately so i'm changed it in a way that uh, the migration runs every time um the app starts um yeah that um i have marked all those things here so this is the line i added so usually there will be a check here in the program.cs um that was okay i was on the wrong file um in program.cs you would see that um yeah so usually it will be checking for the parameters uh yeah like this um this condition will be checked i am ignoring that condition and then every time the application starts i'm adding the migrations so this way i don't have to worry about uh when to run the migration since it's a dev machine i i don't care um yeah that's one thing and then second thing is uh I have added the forward headers because we are hosting this inside uh, Nginx reverse proxy. So uh, while doing that, uh, the protocols will not always be forwarded. So to, to make sure the protocols are forwarded, I added the forwarded headers. And then uh, I used Thai to um, deploy uh, and then generate the kube configs and all those things. So yeah, uh, the, the, as I said, the application is in the repo. Uh, if you want, you can follow along. Um, uh, otherwise, just go and check the application and then the application also has the um cube config um sorry all the kubernetes uh things generated for you and then uh, properly configured uh, you can just skip the video and then play with the um, repository if you want um yeah so but um for sake of um verifying let's start from scratch um i will create uh, okay i don't have a to-do app I guess do i no i don't have a to-do app so i think i can create a to-do app here first thing is just uh, run the command you need to install the abp cli if you don't have it uh, abp cli uh, is from this abp uh, framework it's a really cool open source framework if you don't know about it go and check it out um it has a commercial version but also a open source version all the code is available in the github uh to get started just come here and uh install the cli and then you have the abp cli with you so once you have the abp cli just um copy this command and then run it so what i'm saying here is i'm using the no app template and then uh using the preview version because right now um there is a preview four of the version six running so i want to use the version six um that's why i'm using the preview um versions and uh, i'm mentioning my databases as Postgres SQL because we in the Microcatus cluster we have a Postgres database. I'll just enter and then this will create a simple .NET application for you. Okay, they have a RC5. Okay. Um, yeah. Um, if you want more information, uh, just go and then check out the um, ABP website. Um, yeah. If you want to know what the templates are, or what what are the other templates available? Yeah, you can. Uh, come and check i'm using this abp single layer project type they have they support almost all the possibilities you can think of um yeah and the next thing is uh tie in it before that let's go and then um check out okay it's still great okay it um it created the project and on and also run the npm packages to get the get everything ready for you um yeah and also it seems like create the migrations as well but yeah let's find out what's 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 um uh, what we have is a very simple application here uh, uh yeah yeah this is what uh i removed i i, I removed this 
uh, check here and now um, the uh, migration will run every time the app launches uh, before that i want to check the app config because i have a uh, localhost database okay i want to check if the to do app uh, uh, database is available with me and then my password is okay just to be safe i will choose the database as to do file um yeah that is it um let's go and run the app and then see okay okay it's migrating the host database okay our application is running and and it launched let's log in with the default yes everything works perfect log out we don't need this anymore because uh, we are just going to host the empty application the next thing uh, to do is to init the tie um it's uh, really helpful to init the tie and then use the tie to uh, build um, and then deploy the uh, application. So it's, it's it makes things easier because if you're a .NET developer and you don't want to deal with um, creating all these um, Kubernetes configuration files, uh, it just creates things. It just makes things really easy for you. Um, yeah, I have done this already. Uh, yeah, but I didn't do this so first let's do this so i have to go to the configuration service uh this is the configuration service and then i have to add this so uh, what i'm saying is um uh, yeah so um i'm adding i'm configuring the forwarded headers and then i have to come and then say hey just use the forwarded headers as well okay uh we have updated the forwarded headers and now this is our registry we have to go and update the tie file because tie creates the uh, stuff for us uh, and then we have to let the tie know that, okay this is our registry uh now yeah i want to update the version so that we can um uh, tag the applications properly so uh, i want to tag it as 101 then see how it's tagged and now go and build the tie uh see it just tagged it properly based on the version i gave um yeah so um you can try to push it um uh, if you are logged in so since i've already logged in i all i can uh, do i can just say uh type push and then um it will push the um, pack push the docker image um automatically to my to the registry we created um you can see that okay the the that's the registry we gave to the time it's actually pushing the docker image right now because we are already logged in yes um how would you verify this like um registry is it says like ah, okay i actually pushed you can go back to the server and then and then you can go to mount registry and then put ls and go to docker and then registry and then v2 and then you can go to repositories and you'll see the to-do app and then yeah everything is there so we can be sure our to-do app which we just um did here whatever the pushed uh, here actually worked uh, and then the files are available in the docker registry so this uh so now we have our docker container tagged and then pushed to the registry what can we do now uh, the next step is to generate the yaml file uh, because yeah you can go and create the files it's not so much but it's also nice uh, uh, when you have like five six services and then you can just generate the yaml file um, just like that so in that way tie helps us a lot so i'm going to output the hmm, okay it says the output cannot be found i was just just click generate that will gen generate the file um automatically i think i have to update the um, blog post uh it seems like um yeah so to do generate production that's the yaml file which was generated so you can see that that um the to do app um yeah everything is properly configured for us and then the container and the registry is also uh, configured for us um yeah image full policy always um yeah logging uh service to do app everything is generated uh for us uh in this we have to add some stuff so some stuff uh, are like i have to update the connection string and then uh, update the self url that's uh, for the application and then we have to create the ingress so this is the ingress i have created um we are using the let's encrypt and the public and i'm also mentioning the url rewrite 
targets and also putting the path prefix here it's a pretty simple uh setup but the only uh important uh thing here is that okay we mentioned this is the um image right but the image is protected inside the registry and so that we have to provide the image full secret called reg grid. if you remember in part three i created this reg grid. um so if you go to uh registry uh blog post and then you come here this is where i'm creating this reg grid. so i i mentioned that we are mentioning all these things so that the newly created docker image by us can be easily um, retrieved so that's what we are doing here so we are providing an image full secret which is red squared so this will use this red squared and then uh, pull our image for us so um yeah first i will just um i think i can get this um directly i guess yeah i can get the yaml directly so i will do that yes i have the yaml with me to do uh and we have all the things ready but the image uh, is wrong here i have mentioned as 1.0.4 which is wrong so let's go and update from the bottom this is 101 update the image and then apply so we have our um, application deployed and then uh, it should be in to do app kdev.entosubash let's see pod is running and services to do services are running the ingress the to do app ingress is also running so now if i go to this address yes i have my app i have all the images can i log in yes yes everything works as expected so yeah that's uh pretty much it uh, so we have our application running in the kubernetes cluster it's a pretty decent dev environment let me know what you think in the comments um if you think you can improve it let me know and um i will see you again in something else goodbye